In the news today, please help, please share, car stolen. One white Toyota 212 PKK 7915. Location last seen, East Street between La Maha and New Market Street where the car was parked, obliquely opposite the GPHC East Street entrance. Please call 648-8806 or the nearest police station if you see this vehicle anywhere or have any info. President Irfan Ali addressed the media on the nurses' protest and the government spending of 95 million for government vehicles. Have you seen any request that is on reason? I have seen requests that are outside of the scope of what the country can afford. For example, I've seen uh, requests for duty free across the board, you see, right? For nurses, I've seen. Uh, Up to six years of service. Well, I, I, then you can go to all categories of workers. We can't look, you see, when you're running a country and you're running a system, you can't only look at one category of workers. You have to look at a broad spectrum because what you do in one category will affect what you do in another category. We are committed to ensuring that the prospects of workers are better. And by the end of this five years, I can assure the nurses, the, the doctors, the, the farmers, everyone will be would understand the full impact and positive impact of what we have on the, uh, in the manifesto for them and their families. But Mr. Mr. President, you're saying that uh, you're spending money, almost $100 billion in wages for the President, the Prime Minister, also on the opening of the states without any problems. So, 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 so hold a that, second. That's the argument. Hold, hold, hold a second. On so, so, hold a second. Hold a second. Let me get this straight. They're saying that we're spending $5 billion on the reopening of sugar and that is a justification for their action they're saying that where they... where where was the solidarity when more than seven thousand sugar workers were sent home what was the situation then where was the solidarity when almost one thousand bauxite workers lost their job so so are you saying that the government and you have to and there was no socio-economic analysis of the impact of the closure of the estates we forget that. We're missing that question. We don't want answer to that anymore. We understand, you can see, you can physically see the socio-economic impact of the closure of the estates in those communities. And we can't have apologies for bringing back those jobs, creating those jobs. Similarly, we can't have apologies for the, the subsidies we're going to put and the efforts we're going to put into bauxite or we're going to put into mining. Then I heard the, private, the budget is a private sector budget. How do we create growth? How do we create employment? How do we create opportunities? So those are the type of narrative that I find to be convenient and, 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 and divisive. The if I, if I put it that and vehicles for yourself and the Prime Minister? Well, I, I know that there is a block figure and I'm going to give you the analysis very shortly. I have asked Minister Indar to add up how much money was spent on vehicles on the AP and UFC. There is only one block figure for vehicles in the budget, $95 million. Oh, not only for the, 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 it's not only for president, it is for the government services. Because right now we have ministers who don't have access to vehicles. How are they going to move around? We have technical people who don't have access to vehicles. We have the, the entire DPI, not DPI, the, the, the press team. They're borrowing a vehicle from office of the president now. How do we cover events? The question is, what happened with the hundreds of millions of dollars running into almost uh, three, four, five hundred million dollars that was spent on vehicles over the last five years? What has happened to those vehicles? Where are those vehicles and, and, and how has these vehicles been destroyed to the extent that they are today? That is a better question. Mr. Thank President. you very much. Elderly woman struck down by speeding car while attempting to cross road. An 85-year-old pensioner is now in a serious condition with a fractured arm and hip after she was struck down while attempting to cross the road by a speeding driver along the LaGrange Public Road, West Bank Demerara. The injured woman has been identified as Lachmini Bisnoth of Independence Street, LaGrange Village. News outlets understands that the serious accident took place on Saturday, around 15.55 hours on the LaGrange Public Road, and involved a motor car driven by its 38-year-old owner of Westminster, La Parfait Harmony, West Bank Demerara. We are begging for some help, we're punishing really bad Guyanese Venezuelan re-migrants stated. High rent, lack of access to jobs force re-migrants to begin squatting at Ruby Backdam. 
Appeal for electricity, water or permanent place to settle. Businessman shot during robbery attempt, bandits escape leaving motorcycle behind. The incident occurred outside the businessman's house in Roxanne Burnham Gardens, Georgetown. News outlets understands that the businessman was cleaning his yard outside when two men on a motorcycle attacked him but he managed to run inside his yard and fired shots at them through his fence.